first thing I want to do for constructing the uh, grow beds is to get the decking done um, for the bottom of the beds. In order to do that, I need to cut 28 pieces of 2x4 down to 3 feet, 10 and a half inches each. And I'm looking for accuracy and consistency. So I think in order to do that, I'm probably going to start by building a J. When it comes to accurately marking the 2x4 uh, for making your cuts, a pencil just isn't going to cut it. The width of the lead is just too much. So what you want to do is you want to use um, something like a, a nice sharp knife. After you've accurately marked your cut, you're going to want to line up the blade with the mark where you're going to make the cut. And then you're going to in, want to install some sort of stop block at the end of your bracket here so that all of your cuts will be consistent. Finally, the last thing you want to do is go ahead and make your cut and then double check it for accuracy. Dead on. Okay, so I took a bunch of the lumber I cut and I went ahead and uh, built the first deck frame for the grow bed, for the first section of grow bed. Um, basically, I've got my 2x4s on 16 inch centers. Uh, if you've ever built a wall before, you're pretty familiar with this. The only thing different is I use screws instead of uh, nails. But now I need to build three more of these. So what I'm going to do is I've cut a bunch of little blocks like this. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place them in the corners and screw them in and uh, basically turn this first one into a jig that I can use to build the other three. So it should help speed up the process quite a bit now that I've got everything cut and I've taken the time to build this first one, square it up, it's nice and square. Didn't film it because uh, I didn't think you wanted to see me getting up and down off of my knees uh, on the ground here uh, a whole bunch. So. Like I said, if you've ever built a framed wall before, it's pretty much the same thing. You just mark off your 16 inch centers, put everything together, square it up, and screw it all together. So now we're going to go ahead and move on and uh, make this jig and see how it goes.
Okay, now that we have the J complete, we can go ahead and start assembling uh, the next deck. Now that we've got all four uh, decks built and we've disassembled the, the jig, taking the little blocks off of it, we're going to reinforce these things with some uh, Simpson Strong Ties. Um, it's going to be an awful lot of weight on these grow beds. Uh, it's going to be a foot of water sitting on them, so there, there's going to be a lot of weight. Uh, and all we've got really is, is uh, you know, two screws coming in the side here. That is not going to be enough to support all that weight. So we're going to go ahead and add bunch of these ties.
Now we're not adding any on the ends here, um, but when we assemble the final bed, uh, we're going to use 4x4 four four ties uh, on these where the uh, pieces connect together. And I'm going to have to come up with some other uh, solution for the, the too far ends of the bed. But anyway, this is what we're going to do. Well, that's it. We got all four decks built. We got the uh, strong ties installed on all of them. And uh, I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, if I can get my father in law over here tomorrow, uh, maybe we'll rip some uh, plywood, uh, get the sides done for these, and get the next step done. But I'm tired. It's been a long day. And uh, we'll catch you tomorrow.